Hey everyone and welcome to Living in Ottawa and in this week's episode we're going to cover the top pros and cons of living in Ottawa, the nation's capital. Ottawa for many years has been ranked as one of the best places to live in the entire country and the world. Money Sense, among other media outlets, often place Ottawa near the top of the rankings. But like most major centres, it's not without its faults either. We're going to get into this and so much more in this video, but first, showreel, hit it! Welcome to Canada's national capital, the city of Ottawa. Located in the southeastern Ontario, Ottawa sits at the very edge of the province. It's on the south side of Ottawa River, across from Gatineau, Quebec. And Ottawa actually sits not only on one body of water, by the meeting of three rivers, the Ottawa River, the Gatineau River, and the Rideau River. This convenient spot was chosen strategically by Queen Victoria in 1857 as Canada's capital because of its strategic location. Adjacent to Quebec and centrally located between Montreal and Toronto, made it a natural hub spot for trading, industry, and is a strong military location out of the reach of the threat of America at the time. Today, the city boasts a population of over 1.3 million people when you include Gatineau, Quebec, and the area keeps growing, but why? I think it's because the influencing factors such as the high quality lifestyle for a moderate cost of living and the diverse and private and public sector employment opportunities. Ottawa is also a very walkable, friendly city in an initiative popular in Europe that encourages municipalities to improve their walkability. In fact, Ottawa's new city planning and overall goals is to create a 15 minute neighborhood that are self-sufficient hubs in and onto themselves, allowing for better walking, cycling, driving, and living in their own areas. Add to that museums and arts galore, top-notch restaurants, excellent schools, various work industries, the world's largest outdoor skating rink, an abundance of festivals, superb safety ratings, and a wide variety of housing opportunities to choose from, including entry-level homes and luxury real estate. Ottawa has a lot to offer. If you're thinking of moving to Ottawa, you've made an excellent choice. There's just about everything you need right here in the nation's capital. Looking for that city life, but with a small town feel, Ottawa has it. Let's just say there's several good reasons why Ottawa keeps hitting the top of the best city rankings year over year. Let's just cover a few in this video. Number one, Ottawa is an amazing place to live. In 2021, the cloud-based software company, Kisi, ranked it number one out of 50 cities around the world for the best work-life balance. You can't get much better than that. This city ranked so high because of its good air quality, lots of outdoor spaces, easy access to wellness and fitness activities, and solid healthcare. Impressively, Ottawa ranked as the top city for work-life balance in all of Canada and was number six worldwide. And Money Sense, famous best places to live in Canada city rankings, evaluates over 400 cities and towns across Canada and plays Ottawa number one in 2017. Then in 2018, Ottawa ranked number two in that survey. Then in 2019, McLean's ranked it number three across Canada. And in the 2020, AreaVibes.com ranked it number one across Canada. Where there is smoke, there is fire. And it's obvious the word is out on how great it is to be living in Ottawa. Number two, a center for learning. The teacher will appear when the student is ready. If you're looking for education, you'll find what you seek. The University of Pennsylvania listed Ottawa as one of the most educated cities in the world, and it's easy to see why. The city is home to the University of Ottawa, Carleton University, Algonquin College, Dominican University College, Sejep Heritage College, as well as other large education institutions for all levels, including private and public. The elementary and secondary schools are abundant and highly ranked on the Fraser Institute School Rankings Reporting. In fact, over half of Ottawa's population have some level of post-secondary education and a third of the city being university degree graduates and the subject areas of public administration and business being the most popular among those. And 51% of Ottawa holds a college degree and 43% of employed in creative occupations. Both the University of Ottawa and Carleton University offer elite schools of education that they are known for across Canada. As an example, Carleton University is known as one of the top destinations for education in training in journalism, international and public affairs, as well as technology and architecture. 
whereas the University of Ottawa is a leader in education for medical, public policy, social justice. And the university is fully bilingual, so relocating to Ottawa will enable you to work on your language skills and take on the option to work in French, English, or both. And as a side note, Canada supports low-income students, an inclusive strategy not seen in most countries. Ottawa has forged ahead in the technology field with the growth of high-tech field, which has seen many major companies open offices in the Tech Research Park in Canada. And companies such as Apple, Amazon, Shopify, Nokia, Dell Technologies, Alcatel, etc. And the recently opened Bayview Yards is an innovation hub for helping businesses and entrepreneurs connect and accelerate their ideas into the world with the business, marketing, technology contacts, and experience. Bring it there. Number three, culture and arts. Looking for arts and culture? Ottawa doesn't disappoint. It has exciting indigenous events, the joys of the Ottawa Art Gallery, and its own symphony orchestra. It also has a theater and musical shows at the National Art Center, dance with the National Ballet of Canada, and the magical wonders of Winterlude. Also, smaller stages such as the GCTC, the Great Canadian Theatre Company, and Ottawa's Little Theatre and the Gladstone. Obviously, it's hard to know where to start in Ottawa as we are just scratching the surface here. Ottawa has 29 museums, with 12 of them being national significance. Ottawa has a vibrant urban and art scene with street murals or House of Paint, a hip-hop inspired local to arts-focused communities in a lot of communities across Ottawa to the smaller towns like Elmont, where you can see small independent boutique shops as well as open house artist tours and so much more. If you're an artist, Ottawa has a strong community that can easily be found online in various social groups that love to connect and share. Number four, crime and safety. It's true that Ottawa's crime rate, like the rest of Canada, has risen in recent years, but still quite low. About 3,900 crimes happen here for every 100,000 people. To put that in perspective, University Magazine rated the city as one of the safest in all of Canada in June of 2021. Relocating to Ottawa is still a great move to make. Feel free to Google McLean's Canada's most dangerous places where you can compare over 237 communities across Canada. And Ottawa ranked 107th and far more safe than other major and moderate sized cities and towns across Canada. If you're still uneasy about the transition to live in Ottawa, the OPS, the Ottawa Police Service, offers a neat little crime mapping tool which provides an interactive map in the palm of your hand tracking such crimes as break and entry, vehicle theft, robbery and assaults. So now you too can be a real life Batman. No, you don't have to do that. Leave that to the professionals, please. Number five, economic stability. Ottawa being the national capital, we are fortunate to have a consistent and strong economy. This is mostly attributed to two pretty solid sectors, high technology and the federal government. Its economy is relatively stable and protected from most large swings on a national scale. Of course, the pandemic was hard on everyone, but the city is predicted to rebound soon. In fact, the high-tech area, which saw a slowdown in 2001, has been growing steadily since and now accounts for 18.9% of Ottawa's GDP and the federal government at 18.2%. Prior to the pandemic, Ottawa's economy grew on an average of 2.7% over the previous five years. Amazingly, the city is home to over 1,750 knowledge-based companies focused on aerospace, defense and security, and more. These two pillars of industry are also further strengthened by other connected industries such as healthcare and education, accounting for 7.5% of the GDP, and the trade industry at 9.4% of Ottawa's GDP, and finance, insurance and real estate, hey, at 10.4% GDP. Other contributing industries include a strong military community, rural, agricultural, construction and tourism. Number six, climate and environment. Get ready for the extremes. Living in Ottawa means you need to have a super warm winter parka and also cool clothing for the summer. In winter, temperatures can get down around minus 14 degrees Celsius, but it can feel even colder with the wind chill. In fact, in the dead of winter, there have been some days that have hit below minus 30 with the wind chill. Ottawa gets a good deal of snow and winter lasts for about three months, minimum. So grab your hat, mittens and boots and wrap up. As some wise person once said, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing choices. In summer, things can rise to about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius with warm, humid weather. And some days we will hit upward of 35 degrees Celsius. 
and weather in Ottawa is not for the faint of heart. This city trains some hardy folk to survive the elements. But for a season or two, you will fall in love with the beauty and the beast of Ottawa's changing weather seasons. Winter, although can be cold, can be incredibly beautiful and peaceful. You have to be in it to experience it. And the summers are the payback we get for enduring yet another chilly winter. It's nature's gift back to us. Number seven, the great outdoors. Like other great cities in Canada, Ottawa is right in the cusp of nature in many ways. It's part of the Ottawa Valley, which has been described as an outdoor playground for adrenaline junkies, outdoor enthusiasts, and nature lovers alike. You can go whitewater rafting tours down the Ottawa River, indulge in canoeing, kayaking, fishing, hiking, camping, and ATV adventures. Ottawa also has a vibrant cottage life as access to lakes and rivers is abundant. The best part is most destinations and activities are within just an hour or two of the city. Ottawa has designed with the green belt. This gift of a green ring around the city, protected nature trails and conservation areas and wetlands provide scenic getaways only 15 to 20 minutes from most parts of the city. If you love walking your dog or simply getting away from the in-laws, the green belt is your jam. Packed with groomed nature trails that open almost every season, offering a great quality of life for the whole family. Speaking of families, number eight, raising families. With so much to see and do, a safe environment and great schools, Ottawa is definitely an ideal place to raise a family. It's the perfect place to establish a home base everyone can enjoy. In fact, Reader's Digest ranked Ottawa the second place, the best Canadian city to raise a family in. It's no wonder with the mixture of some of the nation's best museums, history, various outdoor activities, festivals, events, and holidays. Not to mention world-class education institutions and various in-school and after-school programs for kids. And the city also offers education options in both English, French, or both to help set them up for the future here in Ottawa. And the city also offers plenty of family-friendly restaurants, reliable public transit, availability of library access, park space, mom groups for special support, and sporting facilities and programs such as hockey, soccer, swimming, and so much more. It's such an ideal place for raising kids. It makes me want to have some kids. Wait a minute, I already do, I have two. Number nine, proximity to other cities. As Queen Victoria noted, Ottawa is conveniently located part way between Toronto and Montreal. It takes just over four hours to drive to Toronto from the capital, two hours to drive to Montreal from here, and also two hours to drive to Kingston. If you're going all the way to Quebec City, it'll take you about four and a half hours. All things considered, some of Canada's major cities aren't right around the corner, but they're within a reasonable driving distance for a day's road trip. And the US border is not far either, just under an hour away. And being the capital city, we do offer some direct and good connecting flights to larger hubs and countries, making it a great base of operations for business and family. Number 10, Ottawa is a bilingual city. In 2018, Ottawa officially became a bilingual urban centre. This makes a lot of sense as it's home to Canada's national government and the country has two official languages, French and English. Fun fact, over 15% of Ottawans, French is their first language spoken at home. And evidence from recent studies show that being bilingual allows for increased mental adaptability as well as an improved cross-culture skills, employment opportunities and better listening skills. Who knew? Number 11, a vibrant history. Surprisingly, Ottawa was first called Bytown. It only got its current name in 1855, but human history in the Ottawa area goes back much further than that. Ottawa's name comes from the Algonquin word Udawe, which means to trade. And some of the earliest evidence of the humans living around Ottawa dates all the way back to 6500 BCE. And the location is said to have been home to the Algonquin people for over 8,000 years before Europeans arrived. And it was in the early 1600s that Etienne Brule became the first European to explore the wilds of the Ottawa River. And the fur trade then became dominant by 1650. Sadly, disease and warfare for the control of the fur trade routes caused the Algonquin people to lose control of the precious Ottawa River. And the muddy Ottawa River provided for ease of transport for logging industry. And this industry left its mark on Ottawa for major work sites such as La Breton Flats, just a few minutes from here, and Air Falls which were locations of Canada's largest lumber mills. As well, larger streets such as Booth and Bronson were names after lumber barons. And the creation of Lower Town and Byward Market was due to the logging companies, employees and trade. Since the old days, the city of Ottawa has grown to be the global attraction and national hub it is today. Number 12, healthcare. The Ontario Health Insurance Plan, known as OHIP, 
allows residents of Ontario and Ottawa residents to access free health care. OHIP is partly funded by contributions automatically deducted from the residents' salaries in the forms of taxes. Ottawa is home to four major hospitals, including the Ottawa Hospital, CHEO, the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, the Queensway Carleton Hospital, and the Montfort Hospital. And the small towns that surround Ottawa also have reliable and efficient medical facilities and hospitals. Ottawa is also home to world-class facilities, such as the Royal Ottawa Hospital, a mental care facility for Eastern Ontario, as well as the University of Ottawa Heart Institute, located at the Civic Ottawa campus. As the population grows, confirming a family doctor can be a challenge, but many have located one within a short time of relocating. Dentists, special care, seniors care, and many other specialties abound in Ottawa. One of the many benefits of the large city with a diverse economy and diverse population. Number 13, transportation. There are many ways to get around the city. Ottawa has a reliable public transit system run by OC Transpo, which have the newly implemented and expanding light rail transit, LRT, called the O-Train. And the system spans across Ottawa and all the suburbs, and it has a very large geographical spread to cover, but they do it as efficiently as they can. Now, they have been running into some speed bumps with its expansion, and there's ongoing issues in terms of reliability, but they are getting better. And across the Ottawa River is Gatineau. They operate the STO, which serves Quebec and has an interconnections to Ottawa side. Taxis, Uber, and shared drive programs, rentals, black car service are also available. You can even rent one of the public e-scooters placed around the city at certain locations and book it through its accompanying app. Conveniences at your fingertips. And the city also offers dedicated biking lanes and a massive path system in, the, in and around the city. And in the winter, some even skate to work along the Rideau Canal, the longest skating rink in the world. Number 14, a multicultural city. As a diverse city, about 24% of Ottawa's population was born elsewhere, and visible minorities accounting for about 23% of the total population. Since the 1980s, records show that almost three quarters of the city's population growth has been directly credited to people moving in from other cities in Canada and from around the world. Being the national capital, there is an abundance of embassies, high commissions, and foreign affairs and diplomatic affairs are alive and well in Ottawa. And the resulting impact allows for a great diversity across the city and it relies on newcomers to continue its growth. As it does grow, especially in recent years, it is great to see such a beautiful city grow to have such an abundance of cuisine, culture and celebrations. Number 15, sports. Do you love getting active? Moreover, do you love watching others get active? From hockey to basketball, football, curling and more, Ottawa has a team for you to either join or cheer on. The Ottawa Senators haven't won a Stanley Cup in recent years, but the team dominated the professional hockey scene in the early 1900s. They were one of the original members of the now famous National Hockey League, which started way back in 1917. And the City of Ottawa offers great recreational and sport programs for all members of the family, from young to old. You can easily find a resource directly online at ottawa.ca. There are also many private trainers and facilities for a multitude of activities from hip hop dancing, lawn bowling, ringette, shooting and everything in between. If winter sports are more your thing, your family will love snow tubing down family friendly hills in Ottawa. And you can even skate on the Rideau Canal with thousands of other people along with so many other activities. Number 16, diversity, festivals and events. Music festivals and celebrations of culture and food national art exhibits and special events. Ottawa has a lot going on. In fact, Ottawa has over 50 festivals that take place annually, many of each season. And the biggest problem will be narrowing down the ones you want to attend. Everything from Ottawa's Pride Festival to the annual Greek Festival is famous for taking over the city streets with amazing performances and food every August, to the RBC Blues Fest, which headlines amazing talent from across the world. And in winter, you can watch amazing ice sculptures form before your eyes in live ice carving competitions and go tubing on family-friendly hills in town, at getaways or a pumpkin patch family outings to many of the other fall celebrations across this beautiful city. Number 17, employment opportunities. Because this is Canada's national capital, aside from the federal government and diplomatic affairs, there are a lot of top-rated employers in the area, such as federal agencies or nationwide organizations. This includes the Bank of Canada and the Canadian Foundation for Innovation, which both ranked high as top employers in 2021. Other crown corporations such as Export Development Canada, CMHC, Farm Credit Canada, IDRC, plus so many more. 
And Ottawa's high-tech industry has over 17,000 knowledge-based companies that employ close to 70,000 people. These cover areas such as defense and security, aerospace, e-commerce, communications, and so much more. Other large contributors to Ottawa's overall GDP include healthcare, education, trade, finance, agri-food, and professional services. Ottawa's employment rate has taken a bit of a downturn due to the pandemic, and as the world recovers through, it's sure to bounce back along with the rest of Canada. Number 18, Parliament Hill, right there. What list of Ottawa is complete without mentioning Parliament Hill? This home of Canada's federal government is where representatives from across all of Canada convene to communicate and make national laws. The Canada Senate and House of Commons are here as well, all housed in beautiful buildings that date back to the 1870s. They celebrate stunning Gothic revival architecture. And if you don't work in one, you can certainly go on a tour and just take it all in. Number 19, theaters, cinema, live theater, music and dance are all important parts of Ottawa's entertainment scene. Some of the biggest venues include the Canadian Tire Centre, the National Arts Centre and La Nouvelle Scene, the city's francophone theater near the Byward Market area, plus the GCTC, the Great Canadian Theatre Company, Ottawa's Little Theatre and the Gladstone, among smaller venues around the city. Number 20, people and the quality of life. With such a vibrant and varied city, the people of Ottawa are a direct reflection of that. Multicultural, friendly, educated, respectful, polite, and generally outgoing, Ottawans enjoy an exceptional quality of life with rich cultural diversity and more opportunities than found in most other cities. And the city offers a lot for many and has a diverse range of communities and neighborhoods ranging from west to east and north to south. Like any city location, you have to take in the good with the bad. And Ottawa is no exception. There are some challenges with living in Ottawa. So here's a recap of the top five reasons you wouldn't want to live in Ottawa. Number one, it's boring. When researching the various cities across Canada, you may find that it's suggested that it's a very quiet and boring city to live in. This reputation is mostly completely out of date. This city absolutely comes alive during the summer months with special museum exhibits and major festivals running from May through to October. And just to name a few, Canada Day, Ottawa Fringe Festival, Tula Festival, and Ottawa's Blues Fest. Of course, attracting big names on a regular basis from the realms of music and art continues to be a struggle for Ottawa based on its size but it has definitely been improving in recent years. And the challenge and why you mostly hear that Ottawa is boring is mainly due in particular if you were aged between 17 and 27. You may find entertainment in Ottawa more lacking than other cities. Nightlife is usually active Thursday through Saturday, but unlike other major and larger cities, you don't have a nightlife option every evening of every day of the week. However, Ottawa has a good transportation links to both Toronto and Montreal based on our location. And both these cities are renowned for their lively nightlife. And a quick jaunt over there should help get your fill of excitement. And of course, a party, or in this case, which city, is only as boring and dull as you make it. You can always find the exciting and interesting parts of any city, and if not, make it yourself. If you find Ottawa does not offer you enough entertainment during your teenage years and your 20s, you may find yourself belonging to a completely different crowd and group in the future. Many people born in Ottawa that leave to seek adventure often return when they are ready to settle down and start raising a family. And this is due to the city often being named as one of the best places to live in Canada when considering quality of life, including income levels, unemployment rate, housing, lifestyle options, and the weather. There are plenty of activities available for families and children in Ottawa, especially outdoors, with ski trails and snowboarding parks, horseback riding, kayak, rapids, canoeing rivers, and so much more. Con number two, you may need to be bilingual. The key word in this phrase is may. You do not need to be bilingual in order to live easily in Ottawa. However, it will seriously help you integrate into society if you can at least learn a simple words and a phrases in French. They offer many services throughout the city in both English and French. And if you're looking to apply for a job within the government, they may require you to speak French. As you move up seniority with the requirements to serve and work in both Canada's official languages will be required, especially if you have employees reporting to you. And of course, if you live in Ottawa, it is common for children to be taught French while they're at school, which will give them a head start for life in Ottawa. But if you're moving to Ottawa from an area that is heavily Anglophone, you may struggle with employment opportunities. Con number three, it's too expensive. Of course, when you're moving to any city around the world from a non-city location, 
you will inevitably see an increase in your cost of living. There is no difference when you're relocating to Ottawa. As Ottawa's largest employer is federal government, income levels are stable and typically competitive, offering great pensions in high income brackets. As Ottawa is the capital city of Canada, there are an enormous amount of great op employment opportunities. High tech or Silicon Valley North is alive and well here in Ottawa and Canada, which is a massive employer. And like any city, especially if you are the capital, the sheer size of the population will drive additional employment areas such as health and education, finance, trade and construction. Of course, with such a high population and service sector, industries like retail and hospitality are also abundant. Overall, it's important to remember that the cost of living within any location is reflected in your salary. Your salary for a specific job will always be greater when you live in a city compared to smaller or rural locations as the cost of living in said location will be higher. Con number four, the weather. As mentioned earlier, Ottawa experiences the extremes when it comes to weather. Across the course of a typical year in Ottawa, the city can receive on average around 69 inches of snow over the course of 52 days of the year. And the hottest month of the year in Ottawa tends to be July, as the warm season tends to last just under four months of the year. And if you like moderate, dry, consistent weather, Ottawa is not gonna be the spot for you. But if you like the changing seasons and embracing some extremes in Ottawa, that could be the right fit for you. Con number five, mass transit that's still under construction. Ottawa is renowned for having one of the better transit systems in all of Canada. It is not, however, very popular with some Ottawans. OC Transpo operates the city's transportation, and while it has a successful and expansive bus service, the addition of the LRT system, light rail transit, has hit a few delays and speed bumps along the way, which has some commuters frustrated. They are working diligently to resolve these issues. And this will be a thing of the past though, as the city has put a sizable amount of investment within the O-Train network, within another 27 stations being added to the line. The work on this development, however, can seem like it's never ending. So there you guys have it, the ultimate pros and cons of living in Ottawa. Feel free to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you think about relocating, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week, we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care. Number 11, 24% of Ottawa's population was born elsewhere with visible, am I on slant? I think I'm on a slant. Is Ottawa living right for you? Feel free to reach out to us if you're thinking about relocating. I just got hit by a wasp.